Stage Committee. Today we're here with Bruce Marshall from the Emerson Swan Company, and he has a terrific product to show you, and it's something that can save money on your, save fuel on your boilers, today's boilers, that are existing. That's the key. And so what I'd like to do again is introduce you. His name is Bruce Marshall, and we're going to be going through a PowerPoint presentation on this as well. So again, it's great to have you, Bruce, and thank you so much for being well, here. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, thanks. And um, what we do at this time is um, if we could just go forward with the PowerPoint presentation. So just bear with us for a minute. Okay. Well, basically what we're talking about is improving your heating system. And we title this, this is, this, uh, the title there is, is, is part of a presentation that I do that's all about upgrading a heating system. So we're talking about high-tech equipment in, in low-tech homes. So um, what we've been inundated with the last few years is all this advertising about rebates and incentives uh, utility rebates, uh, we had government rebates for a while and federal tax credits and we've been inundated with all of this stuff but it really was aimed at new equipment, putting a brand new piece of equipment in your house. Well not everybody can afford a new high efficiency boiler because you're looking at a pretty pretty high uh, price tag. So this is what we have out there. This is an example of an existing uh, system, uh, say a, a, a 5 to 15 or 20 year old boiler. And can we make that more efficient? Absolutely, yes we can. We can, we can bring the level of efficiency for that uh, boiler that's already existing, not quite to where a brand new high efficiency boiler is, but we can get close to it. And one of the ways that we do this is by adding some intelligence to that boiler. That, that boiler, that existing boiler, is a, is a dumb boiler. By adding outdoor reset, the boiler is able to tell the difference between those two pictures you, you see there. Uh, if your heating system can't tell the difference, then it, it's going to work like it's the coldest day of the year, because that's what it's designed to do. It'll run like it's the middle of January, even if it's uh, the beginning of November. Now, the concept isn't new. Concept has been around for quite a few years. The, uh, this was old high tech back in the 70s, and what you see there is a, a couple of products that were introduced back uh, during the 70s, during the fuel crisis that we had back there. And these were outdoor reset controls that worked, but they weren't anywhere near uh, to, the, to the technical level of what we have today. This is a product that was brought out by the Taco Company uh, in Rhode Island uh, last year and the idea of this is that you can add this for a very low cost to an existing system. They, they, they even gave it a name, they call it the Fuel Misers. This is a brand new product, it's only been, been uh, out for a year, but it works on the same principles. Now this is a brochure that uh, we send out for free, it's aimed at homeowners and it's titled Distressed by Rising Fuel Prices and it's aimed at the oil and propane market. Now that doesn't mean that it excludes natural gas, but the higher price fuels today are oil and, and, and propane. And what that brochure basically says is that what we're trying to do is to create a moving target for water temperature. Uh, that the boiler is going to be supplied. So rather than running at like uh, at, at that highest temperature, running to the maximum temperature all the time, it floats the temperature that boiler reacts to based on the outdoor temperature. It, it's like adding cruise control uh, to the heating system. Um, some of the benefits, by lowering that supply water temperature, we lower the return water temperature. So that it, you get less fluctuations of that indoor temperature. When that uh, boiler comes on and runs to the maximum temperature, you get a sudden wave of heat and you feel it. You can actually feel it. And then it cools off. So you get these highs and lows. 
uh, along with that high temperature being introduced into the system, you get that noise, that expansion noise. You hear the little tick, 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 tick if you have, hear, if you have baseboard, and you can actually follow the flow of water all the way around the, the building, you can, and that's expansion. As the, the, the copper is expanding, because all of a sudden it was, it was hit with this very high temperature water. The, of course, the, the, the obvious benefit and the one that we're really interested in is fuel usage because the boiler that's not running is not using any fuel. Um, a study that was performed uh, out in Minnesota a few years ago uh, showed that outdoor reset controls, by adding these to an existing system, saved an average of 20% with a maximum of 30. And what we have found is for a, a non-condensing cast iron boiler, the, it ranges between 5 and 15 percent reduction in the fuel costs. Uh, now, I, I mentioned earlier that gas, it, it'll work on gas also, and if you're a national grid customer, this product is eligible for a $225 rebate, and that's directly to the homeowner. So uh, that, that really reduces the, the, the cost of, of installing this, this product. Uh, it's very simple that, uh, to install. Uh, any qualified heating contractor can install this in a very short amount of time, one or two hours. Uh, it's a very, very uh, easy installation. Uh, and this can be added to any hydronic boiler, and this would be a forced hot water boiler, with a standalone domestic water heater or a, an indirect that's attached to the boiler. This will not work if you have a boiler with a tankless water heater, that's an internal tankless water heater, it will not work with that. So you need a standalone separate water heater or an indirect water heater that's attached to the boiler, it'll work with both of those. The, uh, the average payback or return on investment to the homeowner is one heating season. And when you factor in the rebate from National Grid, it's even less than that. So it's a, it's, it's a, it's a great thing that, that that you should be doing, and it's one very simple way that you can upgrade your heating system and, 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 and make it a little more intelligent. That's great. Uh, just a quick question regarding the time of installation for a contractor. Do you have a normal time frame of how long it usually takes, a couple of hours? One, one, hours? To, one to two hours would, would be average. The, probably the most difficult part of the job is drilling through the sill to get this little outdoor sensor. This needs to go outside the building and this, so drilling through the sill and getting a wire out there would be the, probably the most difficult part of the job. This other little sensor here goes on the pipes inside the boiler. They both wire back to the control and they send information back to the control. This one sends information out that uh, the temperature outside, this is telling it what the temperature of the, of the water is in the boiler and the microprocessor in the control decides now what temperature to, to, to shut the boiler off. Yeah, you, another great point is you, I think you mentioned it was an average 14% difference as, as far as savings on your fuel. Yes, uh, 14 to 15% average reduction in the cost of the fuel. So without giving you any numbers, you know what you paid for fuel last year. Take 14 to 15% off of that, and that's your average savings. And you may do better than that, but the average is 14%. And what's terrific about that, that's year over year over year after you pay it off. Yes. That is terrific. Um, another question for you. Um, for the people that are out there, could you just delve a little bit more into the tankless and the indirect heater, only because I, I'm not sure if people understand. The tankless heater is built into the boiler itself. Yes. And I just want to just clarify that a bit, because people may... They may out not. there, they may not understand that. So if there's something oh. you can just elaborate okay. a bit. All right, a tankless coil is an in, is a, it's a it, we, it's almost an instantaneous water heater. It's a bundle of coils that sits inside the boiler. Now, in order to make that work, the boiler must maintain temperature 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It has to maintain a fairly high mm -hmm. temperature, 160 to 180 degrees, just so you can turn on the tap and get hot water out of it. Wow. It's a very very inefficient way. Uh, to manufacture hot water, but it's also very inexpensive and there's lots of them out there. This will not work with that because if we lower that water temperature, and this will lower it down to as low as 140 degrees, you won't get any hot water out of your faucet, so it, it won't work with that. An indirect differs from that where it's a tank that's operating as a zone and has a bundle of coils in it and it's taking boiler water and heating it. So the, 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 the indirect water heater is another appliance that's attached to the boiler. Well, because that indirect water heater loses very little temperature, uh, in fact, it loses less than a half a degree an hour, 
you're storing water at that high temperature, and now you, you're not running the boiler. So you only run the boiler when you're actually uh, calling for, mm -hmm. for, for, for water. Okay. So this product will work with that very nicely because you're able to lower that boiler temperature, not affecting your domestic hot water. And obviously, if you have a standalone water heater that's totally separate, then it's not attached to the boiler at all, then you have no problem. Oh, great. And again, once again, I think the rebate you mentioned on that was $225. Is that what it was, $225? $225 rebate from National Grid. So if you're a National Grid customer and you add this to your heating system, uh, it's a very simple process to apply for that rebate, and that's direct to the homeowner. The, the gas network, uh, National Grid right. is part the of the gas, gas network's right. uh, system. Okay, that's great. That's awesome. Now, just uh, I just have one more quick question. Um, I know this is kind of... Uh, Unrelated, just going a little bit further, but if an older, if there's a boiler that's newer out there, say it's five years old or, or so, and um, they have maybe a tankless in there, is it something that they could maybe, if it's cost effective, go with this product and eliminate the tankless and put an indirect storage water heater in there or something to that effect? Is that something where you'd have to weigh the options to go to a new um, condensing equipment for gas or a new oil boiler with an um, indirect heater? Where would we come in on that? Where do you think it might be appropriate for people to look at to well, weigh, you know, apples and apples? Well, that, apples and apples. that obviously would be a lot lower cost than an entirely new boiler. So somebody that has a boiler and a tankless uh, water heater, keep in mind that they are burning fuel uh, 12 months out of the mm. year, seven days a week, 24-7. In the middle of the summer, that boiler can come on just to keep that water temperature high. Right. So the indirect, obviously, it's, it's, a, it's going to be a, a, a fairly expensive job if you, uh, to install, right. but you do it once. And the savings happen almost immediately because, again, the boiler is not running 24-7 anymore. The boiler is only running on demand when you're actually using water. And if you're not using any water, the, the boiler is not running. So you're going to save quite a bit on fuel usage just by adding that. Mm -hmm. And now you're able to add this outdoor reset to it. Right. Okay. One thing I might want to add to this is that um, as of September of 2012, all new boilers have this type of control built in. So this was something that the Department of Energy uh, mandated several years ago, and it, was, it kicked in last year. All new boilers already mm -hmm. have this. So we're really addressing the older boiler, the, 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 the boiler that's anywhere uh, from, from two years or five years to, say, 15 or 20. Once you get past 20 years, you should probably be considering putting a new boiler in. But up to that point, mm -hmm. the boiler still works. And what's good about that, if people maintain their boilers, it's pretty important to do that for yearly updates oh, extremely um, and maintenance. And if, if you do that and you add this, it's just a win-win for everybody involved. Um, is. is there anything else you'd like to add? Or? Well, uh, if you can give us a call uh, the, the, uh, at our 800 number, or you can get more information by going to our website at www.emersonswan.com. There's a tremendous amount of information in there. Uh, about all the products that w that we sell, and you can go you could go right to the Takeo website and get information, uh, or call us, and we'll be happy to talk to you. That's great. Well, what I neglected to mention was Bruce is one of the foremost heating experts in the country, and he does a lot of work with with Takeo as well. And I, I was just tickled that he was able to join us today just to give you an informative update as to what's out there. And it's again, it's pretty cost effective. So once again, my name is Gerard McClellan, and I'm from the Sage Committee. And I'd like to thank you very much, Bruce, for coming in to speak with us. Thank you for inviting me. Very much appreciate it. Well, thank you again, and uh, have a great day.